Jesus loves me. I don't know why. I don't know why he cares. I don't know why. I don't know why he sacrificed his life. Oh, but I'm glad. I'm glad he did. Where would I be if Jesus didn't love me? You told in the book uh, that uh, you got the gift to play and to compose music in a special way. Can you tell us what happened? Well, um, I started playing when I was uh, 11 years old. Uh, when I was nine years old, God, uh, I got saved. I accepted Jesus. And um, I couldn't really express to the Lord how I felt because I stammered. I couldn't talk very well. And uh, my father needed a piano player in his church. And he put his hands on me like this and said, Andre, if God gave you the gift of music, would you use it all your life? And I said, yes. And he said, Father, give Andre the gift of music because we need a piano player in this church. And three weeks later, I started playing the piano. You make music songs for Michael Jackson, for Madonna, for other famous singers and groups, and in all this, what do Jesus and your faith in him believe well, means uh, to you? Uh, first of all, let me uh, clear that uh, uh, different people, uh, well, God has given us a tremendous gift, and I won't compromise at all. Uh, when they come to me, uh, first of all, uh, it was a prophecy uh, that, that came by, by a brother that I really respect his ministry. He said, Andre, God has given you a talent, but you won't have to go to Hollywood. Hollywood will come to you. And you won't have to change anything, but they, they will ask for you. And that's the way it's been. So when uh, I was working with Quincy Jones for the movie Color Purple, and then the, I wrote some of the music in Color Purple, and then when uh, he was doing the Michael Jackson project, they had the Man in the Mirror song. So we listened to the lyrics, and we said that was a good theme. And Michael said, Andre, would you arrange that for me? So I said, yes. And so we did that. Then Madonna comes along, and we listened to that song. It was OK. So we worked with her. 
And, uh, but it's, we always have a chance to give our testimony. The last record, we worked with Michael Jackson on his last album. We did two songs. And we started singing some of our songs like this. And uh, the Holy Spirit came in, came in. We had an altar call, you know, for people that were there that had uh, not made a commitment with the Lord. And for, after we finished the recording session for an hour and a half, it was nothing but praise the Lord. And Michael Jackson had never seen anything like that, but he was right in the middle of it. <laughs> and we were singing, I surrender all. And we said, everybody lift your hands. He was lifting his hands, too. He was just trembling. And he videotaped everything. He said, Andre, that was really phenomenal. That was. <laughs> but we knew that God has allowed us to be in places because I asked the Lord, you know, we worked with Donna Ross recently and different ones. I said, Lord, what is, it, what is this for? He said, I want you to invade their ter territory and, and claim them for me. So when we go in, we say, Lord, save Donna Ross. Lord, let her receive you. And we say, take away all the strongholds that are holding her. Lord, someday bring her to you. That's the same way we did with Michael, same thing we did with Madonna. We know that if we are not there, somebody's going to be there. So those few moments with us, we, 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 we pray those demons down, Amen. you know, that the Lord will somehow save them. You have made a lot of famous songs. You have any special favorite? Songs are like babies, you know. You love them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yeah, I do. You do. Thank you for coming.